Well, from groceries to gas, we've all felt the pain of higher prices over the past year. And today, the Federal Reserve took another step to try to get that inflation under control. It raised a key interest rate yet again, but some fear the move could do more harm than good. NBC's Chris Pallone reports from Washington. Now with the Fed decision. Interest rates on the rise once again, up three quarters of a point. The fourth rate hike this year as the Federal Reserve tries to get inflation, the higher prices everyone's been paying, under control. My colleagues and I are acutely aware that high inflation imposes significant hardship especially on those least able to meet the higher costs of essentials like food, housing, and transportation. The Fed walking a tightrope trying to slow the economy to bring down prices without going too far. The real risk is if they do too much, they will tip us into a recession. The nation's economy uniquely affected by the pandemic, which caused product shortages, and the war in Ukraine, which is affecting the prices of food and fuel. The Fed has never had to face uh, this kind of inflation battle, which is driven not by uh, an overheating economy, but an economy that's suffering from log jams tied to a global pandemic. Gas prices continue to fall. Unemployment is near a 50 year low and wages are up. But consumer confidence is at its lowest level in more than a year. Americans continue to pay more for utilities, clothes, food and gas. The White House insists a recession is not inevitable. Hopefully the Fed is able to achieve uh, what it's setting out to do, which is to bring down inflation uh, and generate what they call a soft landing. The rate hike means Americans will pay more on their credit card debt and the cost to borrow money for things like cars, homes and business loans will likely also rise. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Washington.